In the event of a flat tire, first make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface, safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Turn the hazard lights on, turn the ignition off, and set the parking brake. There should be no one in the vehicle. Block the front and rear of the wheel diagonally opposite the jacking position. For example, if the left rear tire is damaged, block the right front tire. If your vehicle is equipped with air suspension, automatic leveling should be disabled in the Uconnect system by selecting Tire Jack Mode. You should also disable the hands-free lift gate before proceeding. Next, retrieve the tire changing tools. You'll find the scissor type jack and tire changing tools in the rear cargo area under the load floor. Remove the storage cover and then lift the jack and tools out of the storage compartment. You'll find the spare tire underneath the rear of the vehicle held in place by a cable winch mechanism. Remove the plastic plug covering the access hole. Attach the lug wrench to the jack handle extension and fit the extension over the drive nut. Turn the lug wrench counterclockwise on the nut until it stops, and the spare tire is on the ground with enough slack in the cable to allow you to pull the tire out from under the vehicle. Pull the metal bracket toward you until you can rotate the bracket and feed it through the hole in the wheel. Now go to the damaged tire and use the lug wrench to loosen, but do not remove the lug nuts. One turn counterclockwise with the wheel still on the ground. Triangular symbols on the chassis indicate the front and rear jacking locations. To change a front tire, place the jack under the front chassis lifting point. To change one of the rear tires, place the jack under the rear chassis lifting point. Do not raise the vehicle until you are sure the jack is fully engaged. With the lug wrench attached to the jack handle and extension, raise the vehicle by turning the jack screw clockwise. Raise it until the tire just clears the surface with enough clearance to install the spare. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay, now go ahead and remove the lug nuts and wheel. Set the spare on the vehicle with the valve stem facing out. Damage can occur if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Reinstall the lug nuts and tighten them clockwise. Now, turn the jack handle counterclockwise to lower the vehicle and remove the jack. Next, tighten the lug nuts. Tighten each one twice in alternating fashion. Apply maximum effort for this final tightening of the lug nuts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by an authorized dealer or at a service station. To secure the damaged tire, position the wheel behind the rear bumper facing inward. Then, push the end of the winch's cable, spring, and steel sleeve through the hole. Make sure the back of the road wheel is facing the ground and slide it until it is directly under the winch. Raise the tire by turning the lug wrench on the winch extension clockwise until it clicks three times to make sure the cable is tight. Now just secure the jack and tools in their proper locations and you're ready to go. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.